welcome back to my channel. Today is another watercolor with me where I'm going to show you some cute little illustrations that you can do in preparation for Lunar New Year, otherwise known as the in Vietnamese. So the things that you're going to need in preparation for this is your watercolor kit and brush. You can also use your pencil crayons, crayons or markers that you have available to you. Of course, you're also going to need a pencil with a good eraser and of course your notebook and any other scraps of paper you have lying around. Once you have all these supplies gathered, let's go ahead and get started. To draw the lanterns, draw a scallop line across the page and this will be our string that the lanterns hang on. For the first shape of the lantern, we will draw an upside down U crossing the string. Then draw a small rectangle. Just below that, we will draw a circle. Then beneath the circle, draw lines in various lengths. For the second shape of the lantern, we will repeat the top with an upside down U followed by a rectangle. Then we'll draw a long rectangle below it. Similar to the first lantern, we will also add lines at the bottom. Here are our two lantern shapes, so now you'll repeat it across the string. Next, we will draw our My Flower branches in a vase. To draw the vase, we will draw a small oval first, then leave some space below it to draw an oval that's larger and slightly wider with a flat bottom. Then you will connect the two ovals and erase the lines inside. To draw the branches, we'll start from the inside of the vase going out, adding smaller lines for different branch sizes. And we'll repeat this throughout. The yellow my flower represents good luck, happiness, and prosperity. If you want to draw the my flower, draw five square rounded petals. And for the pollinators, if that's what they're called, draw a line from the middle part that loops in on itself, like so. Repeat this in various sizes if you want to draw more flowers. Now let's draw our ox. To draw the face, similar to drawing the vase, draw a large oval, then draw a much smaller oval below it with space in between. Connect these two together. Draw the ears using smaller ovals on either side, and then, for the horns, we will use rounded right triangles like this. Erase the lines inside. We're going to draw an upside down U here, and this will be our ox's mouth and nose. Then you'll add in some simple details like two circles for the nose, a smile, upside down U's for the eyes, and short curved lines for the ears. For the body, we will draw a large oval, and you can go bigger if you want a chunkier looking ox. The legs will be simple rectangles, and for the hooves, we'll draw short rectangles with a triangle chunk missing. The arms will also be rectangles, and to add more detail to the ox, we'll add in another oval shape for the belly. And here, I decided to draw my ox holding a bao li si, which is a lucky red envelope, and I did this by drawing a simple rectangle. Finally, we'll add in a curved line going upwards to draw the tail, and with the U shape, we'll put zigzag lines up at the top. If you want to draw more lucky envelopes, you'll draw a rectangle with a U inside to look like the back of a Bowley C. You can also draw a rectangle with an upside down U on top like this, and another rectangle on top to show an open Lee C with some money. And there you have it. This is our sketch. Now it's time to watercolor and I'll sprinkle in some story time too. You can paint your lanterns using reds, oranges, yellows, to emulate gold, or you can decide to do any colors. It's really up to you.
While I was sketching this, and even while I was watercoloring, a bunch of memories started to come flooding back. I was remembering going to Hoichu Dut. Sorry, I'm not saying it right. But the New Year's Lunar New Year market in Mississauga with my parents when I was like in high school, and everyone would be wearing their aoyais. There would be musical performances, a ton of yummy food. And I remember there would be vendors selling the my flowers, like the branches of the my flower. And sometimes my parents would buy a few of them and they would pick ones that hadn't blossomed yet so that they would last longer by the time we got home. And I can't believe I forgot this memory, but at one of our old houses, we had the my flower in our backyard and my mom would go out like in the winter and collect these branches. Or maybe it wasn't my mom, it's probably my dad. Either one of them, and my mom would be the one to arrange the branches in this tall glass vase and hang Balisi using string. And it's kind of strange that I completely forgot that we had these Lunar New Year traditions at home because it's been, really it's been so long. And since being home, I've got the opportunity to go through some of my old photos and see like pictures of me and my mom and my sister like dressed up in her aoyais at home and doing the classic Viet Mom or like Asian auntie pose holding a branch. <laughs> you, you know that, you know that pose. I don't have to, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, so those are just some really fun memories that popped up. And the last uh, Lunar New Year market that I went to was actually when I was in Southern California in Little Saigon. And that one was like on a scale that I've never seen before in my entire life. I was like, whoa, this is, they, they mean business over there. And there was this huge inflatable pig and this really weird pig float that was a little bit offensive, <laughs> but it was so much fun, lots of good food. And it, it felt very bittersweet because growing up I didn't, have access to that we had to go out to the larger cities and yeah it was just interesting 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 times next we'll be painting our valley sea using red of course and our money being green this lucky money is something you'd receive from your parents, your aunties, and uncles, but before you received it, as a kid, you had to pay respects first. You would share what you wish for the older person, such as happiness, good health, good wealth, and they would also share what they wish for you too. As a kid, I always got that my parents wished that I would do well in school. It was really funny actually when I went back to Vietnam in 2016 with my parents, and this was the first time I really got to experience all the traditions of that. And it was also the first time where I got to be the one to give lucky red envelopes to my cousins. And that was because in my quote unquote rank on my dad's side, I was the older auntie, even though I had cousins that were much older than me. And it was really funny because they would wish for me some very sweet things like, oh, we wish for you to continue to have like good health and healthy skin. And then some other cousins were very jokes where they were like, oh, we hope you find a husband and you come back to Vietnam. <laughs> I also remember keeping and collecting all of my red envelopes because I thought the designs on them were just so beautiful and I would tuck them away in my little like stationery kit and put it in my like desk drawer. Sometimes my belly seat would just be like 
a loony or a toony, but it still felt really exciting to receive it, right? It's just, it's more so the meaning, the meaning that's behind it. So as I mentioned, I learned a lot about those traditions in Vietnam and also got to realize just how differently that my parents could celebrate, but also the ways that they did their best to maintain some of the Lunar New Year traditions as best as they could while being here in Canada. As I've gotten older and moved away from home, I definitely started to feel really sad and homesick every time I wasn't able to go home for Lunar New Year. and. This year looks very different where I do get to stay home and be with my parents and I do know that's not quite the case for everyone. In this new Lunar New Year, celebrations are going to look different for so many of us. But I really hope that this little video, following along with this tutorial or doing your own spin on it can help ease some of that sadness if it can. I'm not sure, I hope it does. I decided to have my ox say Chuk Mung Nam Mui, which is Vietnamese for Happy New Year. So Chuk Mung Nam Mui everyone and thank you all so much for watching. I'm wishing you all good health and safety. Please take care and thank you again for watching. Bye.